Thank you, Monty the Gymnast. All right. Listen, don't ever let them tell you the pinnacle points aren't worth anything. <laughs> they definitely are. They definitely are. I am definitely looking forward to uh, seeing Ma you know Maui's reaction. Uh, when Dignitas run it back here on Inferno, just absolutely slam, and we go to a third map. Yeah. Be good times. Listen, I don't know. I'll, I'll be honest. Like my faith in OG is at a very, very low point. I just I feel like they're not playing up to their the sort of expected level. Uh -huh. So I don't know. I feel like any anything could happen. Although looking at the stats, uh, like they were on a desk, does make for a pretty uh, strong argument that we could be uh, seeing the end of the series here. But I'm gonna have to see it first. I, I really want to see OG really get into it. Valor was playing incredibly that game. MBK definitely stepped it up a lot too. And but I mean, they obviously made it home at the end in spite of a dreadful start. But I still, I don't know. I don't have the full confidence just yet. Dignitas going to be on the CT side though. OG on the T side starting on Inferno. Second map here in this best of three here at Flashpoint. Forest, I like this. Pushing forward. Harry, I like that even more. Straight headshot. This is a bit of a trap that they've set up as well. Saying, yeah, try and chase me, and Heap is going to follow up and kill everyone. This is good. I wish Heap just completely stays there. Doesn't even peek, doesn't do anything, just waits for them to run by. And I'm mean, just, I mean, we're just waiting here, Anders. This is this is literally just a waiting game. Harry again, another kill, two for Harry, and then they just go charging in. He's looking for more. Gotta be yeah. careful though. Do not want to use the lose the utility from these two players on OG. If they go down, that's a lot of value lost. It's gonna make life even more difficult for OG in this pistol. It's just so well done from Dignitas. Fall back. Now you definitely don't need to try and have any kind of a weird setup out there. It's so much better. And I think, yeah, NBK is hoping to bring it back with a quick kill. Uh, this is actually great playmaking from NBK. That's what you would need to do. And they're keeping the bomb over on the other side, just saying, you know what, like if he can get a kill, draw more people over here, which he kind of has, maybe we have a shot, but I don't know. I feel like he probably needed the kill and then to, you know, maybe if it's like a full rotation to the A-bomb side, if they were that silly, there could have been something. Now they're going to walk into a pretty well-defended site here. This should be exceedingly difficult for OG now. Been spotted from library. Wow, Freiburg just stands his ground taking that fight. Smoke goes down, but uh, the defense is still in place. And there is another shot. It's an execution coming through. Valda Styles with the burst, but that's not going to be good enough. Forrest gets that kill, and it, it will be a pistol round for Dignitas Vi on the CT side. So 1 to 0. Anders, 1 to 0. I really like, I really, there's a bunch of small things to notice in that round about how Dignitas was playing it. I really enjoy the fact that they were, you know, that defensive once they had the 5 on 3. Yeah, this, I mean, this is a great shot. But yeah, once they're here, they sort of realize, let's not go crazy. I think that was well worth it. So, good job. Will be a buy coming out from OG. That's interesting. They've, they've, I mean, they did this on Nuke as well. I don't really get the impression that OG really believe in ecoing or economy. It's more just like we'll buy rifles when we have money at the beginning of the round for that. Just uh, keep spending. Yeah, just keep spending, keep buying. MBK comes from that uh, French era of lethal pistol, lethal pistol play. Just and channel I mean, it. If um, again, if if it if it pays off, if they win this round, you know, obviously it's it's going to be worth it. But um, well, we'll see. And even if they maybe could just do some good damage, it might still work out. They are going to be really close. This is a, actually a bit of a problem for Dignitas. They're going to be real close to the site by the time that they realize. Oh, and the nades. Harry blows up. The flash bangs to follow. This is so well executed right here. Forrest tries his best, but he would have to get essentially a triple kill for that to be even close to happening. Freiburg and Heap should not be going for this. That is... That's very well done. So close. And that is what happens when you give them all of that room to set up with the nades. All the space to get, to get the double bombardment down, not even needing a molly, just straight up nuking that guy into oblivion. And now you're left with two MP9s. That's tragic if you're Dignitas. Yeah, you're right. Actually, the worst thing they could have uh, they could have run away with. And the other yeah. side gets the M4 and the two FAMASs, so there's no justice, is there? No, there isn't. They, it's, it's very unfortunate, but... Uh, OG, that is exactly what they were hoping for, obviously. And now they're just going to be in a fantastic position going forward in this uh, half. And, well, this is uh, what was talked about. We didn't have to wait long to see it, Anders. I mean, Dignitas struggling to convert rounds on the CT side of Inferno does not bode well. Still a CT-sided map. So, I mean, 
Very tough start now for Dignitas. And, well, let's see. This is OG's map after all. You expect them to be prepared. You expect them to be uh, feeling pretty confident on it. Do we get the force buy out of Dignitas? It looks like it. Although Halzerk may be... Yeah, he's going to get dropped the dig. Trying to see if they could build up his economy. All right. Yeah. Got a lot of HE grenades. Could be fun if they could find one. Deep Molotov. Heat pushing down. Yeah, they see it coming. It's always very suspicious when you get that deep of a grenade. Halzerk is there. Oh, a nice headshot. Well done. That was sick. Oh, and he's not going to get the follow-up. That was so close. Oh, it's CB, it. yeah, survives with 53. Freiburg is charging. Freiburg's got a window of opportunity here where he can get in, and they are watching for it. More than ready. And so now we're left with two Deagles for Dignitas. MP7 life, NBK, interesting choice. NBK is, uh, he is known for his eclectic uh, rifle purchases. True. Very true. How are you going to just make himself disappear? Maybe try and see if we could find a, uh, you know, that that weapon that Freiburg had over on this side. Might be, uh, might be worth it. But yeah, second round on the board going to be for OG. They'll they'll lose a little bit in this round, but nothing absolutely devastating. Oh, oh no, Mantu saw it coming. Bait. It was, wasn't it? And then not. I mean, again, they could maybe upgrade a couple of pistols here, but it won't be much more than that from the Dignitas side. So, uh, again, the, uh, if you remember how the first half on Nuke was, this is what Dignitas were doing to OG. Where you get that, you get the pistol round, but then you lose the following rounds, and it just becomes such a miserable state of affairs. So, it means you won't have any kind of real economy going on for a long time. Mm. And I'm wondering, do we have a tech pause? We do have a tech pause, and we absolutely do not want to talk about any information pertaining to the match, lest one of these teams have a stream open in the background. Definitely not. And so let's keep this uh, intentionally vague so that uh, cheaters can't cheat, Anders. Uh, what was it that we were talking about? Oh, yeah, fourth round. That is going to be, uh, I mean, again, probably just a soldier, I have to assume. Um, so far... Things are having a not the start that they would want. Again, we, we're, we're hoping for some kind of an upset here so that they can bring us that third map. And winning the pistol was a step in the right direction, but the follow up was not what you would desire. They're all up in the A apartments now, trying to make a bit of a run for it. NBK, he's got that MP7. They don't have any armor. It'll chew them right up. Big triple. Quan is trying to get the tech line out, but he's going to be denied. Oh, man. He nearly had it. One thing I do admire with Dignitas Vi is when they go for these hard ecos, they do just, <laughs> they YOLO. They don't wait around and try to make USPs work, right? It's just charging straight in, no fear, get the round over with, see if we can get lucky and maybe, you know, get in a position where we can save a rifle. And if not, we'll get it over with quick and uh, we can move on to the buy round. And so this is where we get to see now what Dignitas are going to have in store for us. They finally get that AWP in play for Hauserk. And so he popped off earlier there with that Deeg. Very, very interested to see if he can have an impact here with the AWP. He was starting to wake up a little bit towards the end there on Nuke. He was. Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe my expectations are just off, but I, it's like every time I, I, I think, oh, maybe Holzer doesn't quite have it. He has one of those games where I think, all right, this is actually, this is what I need. But then he goes away for a while again. I feel like I'm being baited into to believing it maybe more than I should. Hard to say. There is uh, a lack of head armor on two of these people. So even the MAC-10s and even the M4 there on Mantu could be a bit more dangerous. Holzerk's one of them. Down in the pit waiting is Harry. And he's very, very important that Harry stays alive in the pit. So the Holzerk isn't isolated out here. He's actually going to smoke off and keep pushing. And... Wow, that's kind of dangerous to go for it again. It looked like they were almost waiting for that. It looked like they were waiting for it, but it also looked like they were lined up, like he was about to get a collateral with that peak. What the? Not quite the case, though. It's still the standoff. Somehow, Dignitas Vi haven't dropped anybody. They have one smoke left on the CT side. But look at this as well. OG, because they're making noise over here towards B. Dignitas have elected to gamble and put a third player over towards the B site. What does that mean? There's only two people here on A to stop this push coming in from OG. Oh, Life's no. going to get real interesting here for Halzerk and Harry. Life's going to end real fast for these two, I think. Halzerk means out in the open still. He's just in the middle of the lane. Shot in the back and, yeah, no head armor for Harry. Those are, he goes down instantly to that MAC-10. So, wow. 
that quick rotation to B makes you really wonder. Well, I don't know. This is the problem, though. That actually was combined with the fact that Holsuk was so far up towards quad that when they hear the noise at B and they check in with him and say, well, have you heard anyone top mid? He's just going to say, no, I haven't. So why not rotate another, another guy in there? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for them, there were people there. They were just right around the corner and up in the, uh, and up in the apartments. All right. Taking it out from the chickens now. <laughs> All right, since time immemorial. How many chickens do you think have died on Inferno since its inception here? It's <laughs> very, very many. I hope as I'll many as uh, you know go into the chicken McNuggets in a single McDonald's. Yeah, in a day, something like that. They should have. They should have put like a code into the game to count that for no reason at all. <laughs> I, dude, I bet you they have those stats somewhere. For, That's just uh, a number, right? Yeah, but the, no, they don't. <laughs> I, I wish. I wish. That's the kind of stuff that uh, gets us up early in the morning. So many should. chickens. Do the math. Maybe we can just do like the average and just extrapolate how many Inferno games or something like that. You know, just say a rough figure. <laughs> I don't know. Mathematicians, where are Whatever you? Whatever happened to chicken? We need him joining lobbies again, randomly. Exactly. You know? Chicken, we're, 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 what happened, my dude? Let us know you're alive out there. All right. Some rifles here on the side of Dig. Some nice grenades landing on Valda. I like the forward push into the A-apps up here. I think that's a good idea. They are going to back it off, but I still don't mind that they try and do it. Freiburg is playing alone, and there is a flash on Heap. It's basic setup, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to work. See, yeah, here comes the call, Freiburg. He's going to go straight for it and hunting down the AWP. Oh, and he actually has a double kill in him. That's amazing. That is as good as winning the lottery right there, Anders. In no way is he supposed to be able to get two kills out of that situation. That is like the auto shot on Nuke in that bottom hallway. Just, again, Freiburg coming up with the goods. Issa's trying to fight back here. He takes down Harry. Two players remain on the A side for Dignitas, however. And that bomb is still all the way back in T-spawn pretty much for OG. So Velda and Issa now, last two alive for OG. And they're so low on health. I mean, it, it, this... Shouldn't be any more rifle losses here for Dig, and it's very important that they don't lose anyone else as well. So, yeah, just make sure you keep this alive. I don't know what they, w what I don't know what the plan is here. If you're on the T side, survive. Just yeah. keep the AWP alive. Probably is the better idea, isn't it? Don't give it over to uh, Dignitas. Really, this is just maximum, maximumly annoying, maximumly, <laughs> mightily annoying. Listen, I um. I think, oh, rather don't do it. Yeah, Observer agrees. <laughs> don't go for it. I reckon that um, that one of the reasons why they went for that that kind that much of an aggressive push down as well, is because if you're on the dig side in that round, you don't, you're not gonna have really the grenades to, mm -hmm. you know, smoke off the B bomb site forever and ever. So then that's the other choice, isn't it? You say, all right, we, after, when we're down to 30 seconds, we'll have either no grenades or we'll take the fight this early on and make sure that we just win it outright. So I think that's a smart call. Now they have definitely more grenades to work with. Some money as well. Not, not a huge amount, but they have a little bit that's building there on that side. Oh, that's a deep nade. Actually, it doesn't do that much. Interesting. Yeah, we're now going to get into it. Now that they have the money for the, uh, for the nades, it unlocks all of the uh, possible possibilities here in banana with the combos just dropping that bombardment and even pushing forward into t spawn or t ramp you can get the he's in there now too that's what we usually see so the meta is evolving and og are not looking to have anything to do with that setting themselves up to take this uh, a site now harry gonna stand his ground removes alexi b from the picture Halzerk is gonna have an opportunity lines up one looking for a second he's expecting it on the edge of the smoke somehow this man is still alive there it is the second kill they are running right into the blender og not a thing is working for him yeah, they ran into a four-man stack, so... And even worse, they sort of ran into a four-man stack and didn't even realize that even once they'd blocked off the arch side, they actually hadn't cleared quad at all. And I think that that's uh, close to what happened last time they tried to push top mid here, is that they didn't have all the grenades to deal with that. You know, where are the Molotovs going over the building to land exactly where Holzerg is? That's one of the most common grenades that people throw these days, so... Definitely some stuff lacking in that one, but a good defense for Dig, and if they can just... If they don't lose anyone else here, that's definitely mission accomplished.
And who's worried about someone, you know, potentially shooting him in the back, but looks like they'll stay away and there'll be another save at AWP. They have so much money though, OG, that's kind of the problem. They can still buy in this next round. But um, yeah, nice shutdown. Yeah, just what uh, OG needed. Well, <laughs> Dignitas needed, rather. OG now are going to be in a position where... Hmm, do they go back to B and try and get over and take uh, take control of Banana again early on? I think that would be the appropriate play here. If Dignitas is starting to get confident. But now you're going to get full nades once again here for Dignitas 5 as we get the replays. NBK, at least he was able to you know pick up one. <laughs> only to get randomly sprayed down afterwards. But yeah, it's worth reminding everybody here tuning in if you're just happening to make it in this evening. This is a lower bracket match. Loser here goes home and yeah, is true. out of the tournament. There's a million dollars on the line in the prize pool in this tournament. Biggest of the year. You do not want to be going home early. Heaps taking some damage already. I'm not sure what that was from. Valda trying to push up behind it. Freiburg's right there. That's so dangerous. Flash is going all over the place, and Valda taking even more damage. So, thought someone surely was going to die at that point in time. They're going to go back and go for the common boost over to the CT spawn. I like this setup, although it is sometimes risky if the AWP misses and and you just, you know, you get swiped on from the other side. Yeah. Oh, the jiggle peak. Let's go get spicy. But I like OG just taking over Banana, forcing all that utility out of Dignitas. You know, you can see that Freiburg has hardly got anything left to speak of over there. It's going to be an open sight. Issa, however, going to find Hera. Nice trade, though. Hauser takes him out of the picture. And NBK predicts Hauser going for the repeak. Beautiful punish. And that gives OG the man advantage now. And still three smokes, a molly, and a flash to work with here. OG, with 40 seconds, they have ample time to take over this A site. Worried about a third man up there. Don't know. I mean, that Molotov it was the last one they had, and they could have wanted to use that for uh, for down in the pit. Yeah. So two on four to try and attack this bomb site. That's a fight you should be winning. Inside is Forest, and down in the pit is Heap. And again, he's had a really rough game, and he's going to go down again. He's got zero kills, and Alexi will Ooh. just break it wide open. Why not? That is, that's a very, very good round. And it comes, again, it, it doesn't even let Dignitas sort of get a lot of rounds on the board here. They just get a little bit, and then the rifles are taken away. OG, they had a bank that whole time, and now they're going to be building it again. Murder. <laughs> just, getting, just getting these chickens, Anders. They can't stop. It's just... Once more. If they start hitting shots like that, if Alexi B is going to start hitting some of the harder shots you can have uh, on entry site A, right? Like, those are not easy. Getting rid of the guy in pit and then just hitting that clean headshot. I mean, it bodes well here for OG on their map pick as well. So, five rounds on the board on the T side, four players surviving, and OG taking over Banana early, forcing the utility out of Dignitas Vi, and forcing Dignitas Vi out of their comfort zone. I mean, clearly that was the solution here. NBK also played that wonderfully up there in the apartments. You gotta give it to him. But yeah, here's Alexi B's perspective. I mean, those are not easy shots. And he nailed it. He definitely did. Yeah, that was good re a really, really good read. Five to three. They have the money. It's gonna be enough in the bank for Dignitas to, well, to go for a bit of a force. A whole suck in the middle. He's down straight off the bat. That is a bit of an issue. Do they wanna try and, s I mean, this is, what do you do now, though? Do you try and reclaim it and go aggressive like you sort of wanted to do here on Banana? If you lose another player, then you probably lose, you know, the round straight up, and you might just give away all the rifles once again. Alexi. Oh, they're going to go for it. They're going to push, and they're going to check the whole thing. Freiburg, he was so flashed, and that leaves Heap alone over here again. He's been having such a rough game. He's got zero kills and would just love at least the one. They're right on the other side. He'll pick it up. A big double, finally! In the round here, and they're actually, that's actually going to hold them back. I can't believe it. Or on the other side, though, NBK is already checking this side, and if he can find a kill, they can just fall back and try and do it. He's almost getting checked. This Harry with the peak. That's some good timing. Yeah, that's just timing. All of it is timing. There, NBK is going to be so frustrated with that. Man advantage now for Dignitas, and they even get into position in graveyard. Harry is going to be the man to just annihilate OG now. Here's the nades going out. 
Oh, Ooh, the spot! Montu was ready for him! How though? I don't even believe it. If you thought someone was in graveyard, why wouldn't you have used... You had two Molotovs, why wouldn't you use one of them there? The fact that he uses on the side and just immediately checks graveyard, that is some next level stuff. Now, they're in a lot of trouble once again here. Two on two, Heap trying to sneak in, but he'll go down to Mantu's AWP, and so will Forrest, following him into the grave. Triple kill for Mantu, and OG winning a two on three there. I think if they had known that only Heap was in the B-bomb site, they would have just pushed the smoke anyway. Mm -hmm. But it, I think, because they, they must have known that he was reloading and it just had the USP out or whatever. Oh, he actually just saw... That's ridiculous. Get out of here. Can we see that again, please? What a ridiculous flick. Oh, dude, he just saw them out of the corner of his eye. What a shot from Montu. Thank you very much. Glad that we caught that. That's so quick. I actually thought he threw the Molotov and then just sat and checked it. But nope, it was even more ridiculous. Mac 10 versus, um, well, no Kevlar. Usually a pretty good fight for the Mac 10. Oh, but we do see the Zeus. Teaser. <laughs> it is still the best sound in the game. Get wrecked. I've come around, Anders, once upon a time. You know? So it's worth it for the sound. It's worth it for the sound. And I mean,. Economy is already so broken in CSGO anyway, so it's like, whatever, you have the Zeus, it's just more. <laughs> it's just more on top of everything else. Ooh, heap. Hey, I'm just going to wait him out, so. 7-3, to three, Andrew, 7-3. to three. OG are looking good, man. They're starting to really come into it. I'm feeling like this was, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. It's amazing. We just needed to, uh, I mean, Dignitas, it feels like Nuke was really just going to be it. Because right now it's 7-3, to three, OG on the T side, and Dignitas are looking deflated, and some of their guys are just not hitting shots, including Forrest. Heap and Forrest are really struggling right now. Yeah. And that's painful to see. They're definitely having a couple of issues. Mantu, he actually saw the first player as well. He still gets the kill, also with a bit of a double revenge, though. That is so worth it. MBK losing the fight to Harry. Could have gone either way there. So, so, a lot of aggression coming out from the Dignitas side, and they will, uh, they'll be rewarded for it. I actually thought Mantu was going to straight up hit that first shot, because it looked like he, s he knew that they were pushing. Yep. So he was like, whatever, I'll, I'm just going to take the, the first guy around the corner, but missed his chance. 100% thought he was going to have that. Absolutely. So, uncharacteristic miss from Mantu, but it's not done yet, actually, here. Issa is close enough to hear this, and so he knows that... Uh, yeah, going to be checking Arch. There is this clever angle, but he's going to get spotted. Hauser takes a bullet to the face. Still two players in pit. This is going to be the worst case scenario for OG. They're trying to attack A site now. If they win this, it's absolutely absurd, isn't it? Tapping away. Nice shot from Freiburg. That's going to make up for it. A little bit scary there for just a minute, but um, they do come clean through. Four to seven now. The money is so ridiculous. It's 50,200 on Mantu at the beginning of this round. So. That's just, it's out of control. This was a good job. Some very important fights to be won here. And they just need to keep at it. I mean, they need to win the next four rounds. Just one one long string of rounds here at the end for uh, for Dignitas House to close out this halfway. Though they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Valder hiding back here. Some good counter grenades coming out. And Heap, he might as well be, or maybe should have been dead there. Spray doesn't continue, so it's just a trade. Four on four. I mean, it looks, it's pretty decent for OG, but if Heap had also been killed, that would have probably been the end of the round, so. Without a doubt. Staying alive. Man is just impossible to kill right now, but he needed that. A kill to go to his name. Three kills now total for him in this half. Three kills. So he really needed to start to have something break in his way there. Uh, yeah, same is true for Forrest. And Freiburg's not that far away either, so yeah. Holsuck and Harry are doing... Some of the work right now, but there is a definite sort of slowing down from map one to two when it mm -hmm. comes to Dignitas. Yeah, they're struggling really hard right now to have an impact on an individual level. Seems like they have, you know, the, their protocols are in place here for Banana, but it feels like they're getting a little bit figured out by OG now on Banana. The king of Banana. You know, he needs to uh, he needs to start changing up the tactics here. So you can't keep having OG just ready and posted up to catch you as you peek around uh, the wall, right? No, definitely not. He still has a smoke. That's actually really impressive. 
Yeah, he puts that smoke down about 30 seconds. That's a bit uncommon. They can wait it out and still go for it, but it does put the round, you know, like, very, it's going to be very late here. Only two people defending inside, but I think that's that's pretty good from Heap. Not always easy to keep uh, a hold on those for so long. 15 seconds. Deep Molotov, and he's low on health already. He's just going to burn alive. That's an incredible grenade. Harry here trying to spray them down, but it is going to be not quite enough, and they'll go straight for the bomb plant, and I don't know if Forrest and Holzerk should be Sort of pretending like they want to go for it. I don't really know what you achieve here. Unless you got a kill immediately as that smoke blooms, you'd manage to take somebody's head off. Going into the retake now is going to be so difficult. Oh, I, oh no, come on! That is unfair, isn't it? That's so unfair. That HE would have done it. And then the two on two. Yeah, maybe you go for it. Ah, oh, that's so unfair for Dignitas. <laughs> Alexi must just be back there thinking, wow. Yeah. That was... Uh, that was going to be the end of it. Dang, that was such a great idea. What I'm a not, shame. I'm not going to lie. It might actually be to to Dignitas' benefit that that didn't happen. Okay. Because I guarantee you, if, if they had got the kill on him, they would have been like, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then they just huh? use the rifles anyway. So. Yeah, but, they, but then... That's how it works. You, you got to fight. You got to fight, Anders, right? <laughs> yeah, well, chance. at some point, they do have to. NBK is 12 and 6 right now. He's pl He played very well on Nuke. He's playing very well here. I think that's... Um, that's super commendable. He is playing, uh, you know, apartments, pit, that whole area. Doesn't it feel like that's MBK's old stomping ground, right? French, Inferno, or Iconic Duo. All right. All the grenades. Now, now we're starting to see the adjustments getting made here. The mollies are down, but uh, you are still going to get Montu pushing through that smoke. So now he's going to have the angle with the AWP. And in the meantime, on apartments, Issa just charging through. Gonna catch him looking the wrong way. NBK gets taken out as well by Forrest. But this is going to be the dry peak from Valda. No fear. Gets right in there. It's all on Heap now to close the door. And Alexi B hits another beautiful headshot. And look, they're, they're actually, I mean, Issa's still out here. He might as well just wait. They know that he's up there, so that, you know, they're gonna be, they're gonna be worried about it. But... Yeah, might hang, might hang out and try and look for like a last second kill on someone. That would make sense. Nine to four is about to be the scoreline here. This is so, this is so devastating. Again, the fact that the last map was 16-14 and it was it was sort of you know swept away in in that fashion at the end. They they've got to be thinking, man, why you know like at the very least we could have we could have had that third map on train. We could have tried to do something there, but this is not looking good at the moment at all. No, this is looking like they're just getting ground down one round after another. And this is not going to get any easier for them either as uh, into the next round they go with two guys holding on to rifles, but the rest of the team, I mean, it's 3,000 bucks across the board in the bank. It's not really a lot to work with. And so probably going to see a half buy out of the Katans going into the last round of the half where they can hope to at least pick up a fifth round, barring some kind of magical play coming through here in this one. So nine to four, bring OG again. I mean, it feels like now they've just kind of downloaded that B defense. Bring, bring the magical plays. Oh well, I mean, this is one way to change things up. Everyone go banana, throw all yeah. the grenades. They don't really do anything. Now what are they doing? You can see they're kind of milling about, not really sure. Do we just stay stacked on B? And I mean, you almost want to say that, yeah, just stay stacked on B. Harris over here on uh, A site. He's got a deagle, and then you have your two rifles over here. They're going to go... They have a flash. It's coming up right now. Ooh. Still, the superior firepower on the other side. Just going to win that straight up. The two rifles are still over here. I don't know if this is... It almost feels like it's sort of an attempt to try and feed them. You know, they mm. go with the pistols, and then if they if they rush in behind, but I think OG, no. And over on the other side, Harry is alone with a deagle. That is not going to be that great against what's coming. Already holding the angle. Could have been a chance there, but that is going to be the A-bomb site wide open. So maybe they could save the m force but they, it's always tricky when that's what you're celebrating, isn't it? We got the rifles, guys. We're still we're still losing 10 to 4, but... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bit of, a, bit of a tough map right now. Yeah, it's, it's kind of... This is where you kind of... You're kind of trying to stretch... 
I mean, we were warned by the analysts. They, they did have the stats to back up much of what's happening here. And I feel indeed. like that's that's just sort of, you know, what we're seeing unfold. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we are, uh, I mean, on an individual level right now, it just feels like uh, Dignitas have just not got it to qu clicking quite yet. And on CT side, you know, if you're not, uh, if you don't have your timings down, if you don't have it figured out, this is exactly what can happen, especially now with how high the level is on T side. I mean, you're going up against Lexi B. And it's not even, it doesn't really feel like OG are doing anything that crazy. It's a bunch of 4 1 who are just kind of, you know, just taking things over. But clearly it's not enough here for Dignitas. Nicely done saving the rifle there, Forrest. It's close, wasn't it, at the end, though? Oh, uh, yeah, this is the last round. Everybody's got full money. Let's see. What are we going to get from Dignitas? Hmm. More of the same on Banana, probably. Just nuke them. Or charge mid. Haven't seen really that much since that MP9. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely something you do, but I wonder if they've even practiced it that much. You know, if it's, if it's like a, a protocol they have. A lot of grenades landing on holes. So no scoping Valder. He's back in it for more. Taking down. He's a... Can we get a third? No scope. Oh, he's trying. Backing off. There it is. Oh, man. The shotgun AWP. Well, that's one way to do it, Anders. Just using the force, wasn't he? Why did you be doing that the entire half, huh? I don't know. Let's ask him. I'm sure we could. We'll get the post-match and see what we can get there. But uh, 10 to 4. And it's shaping up to be a fifth round for Dignitas. Hauser coming up with the heroics here at the end of the first half. It's all on Montu now. 1v5. While well, the crossfire is ready and waiting for him as he exits uh, Boiler, he should be getting snuffed. He does not have eyes in the back of his head, although he is going to find a nice pick on Forrest. Yep, Hara boosted up, and that's going to be it. 10 to 5 the score at the end of the first half. OG finishing strong on the T side. And while well, now there's going to be a little bit of time here for Dignitas to get ready and prepare themselves. And I'm very curious to see what they have in store for us here on the T side. It's going to be desperate, but they need to come up with the goods. We're taking a break, and we'll be right back. side effects including drowsiness, headaches, nausea, rashy skin, anal leakage, and an overwhelming sense of joy.
is going to be the second half, second map, and um, it is uh, looking real tough for Dignitas at the moment, isn't it? OG up 10 to 5. That is um, after winning the first map on Nuke 1614. Let's just see how this all goes. We have the P250 on Holcirc, and he's been playing pretty well in the first half, so don't mind that they try that. He needs a strong kill. Jumping Glock shot, and oh, wait. That's down the middle. That was NBK gushing him at range. So he's on three health. That's not so great, but um, it's not it's not a disaster yet. Yet. Not quite. It's a patient result here from Dignitas. Now as Harry is waiting to see if Mantu's going to go for the peak. Mantu with the CZ75, though, should be holding close. He has the advantage here. Yeah. I like the for forward position from both these players up here from OG. Pistol rounds are always a bit of a weird scenario. But uh, at least they're going to have some advanced warning. The bomb is out here as well. There's a little bit of a peak. Oh, and a double back around the corner. Reload. Issa showing up. And what an absolute shutdown. That could not have played out better. That's probably what you're thinking when you're doing that. And then mm -hmm. when you actually try it like nine times out of ten, you know, you just get traded and, you're, and, the, and the last guy, Issa, is just alone there. Seems like it doesn't always work out quite exactly. like Exactly. Oh, just barely dodges the Nechi as well. Come on, Alzerk. That is crazy. Three health, and the man is standing in the open. Flash over the top, and Valda not quite going to be connecting with the shot. Bomb is making its way here as well. Do we get a fresh smoke going down on CT? It's looking like it, and there it is. Halzerk finally connecting a bullet with Velda's face. Two on four. Going to be there. Oh, what an HE. Freiburg barely takes any damage, though. What? He's got back just in time. That's not bad, but he's going to get caught, and he needs to stay alive. Halzerk is so screwed. I mean, it's a good shot there, but they were all coming for him. He needs to be like Ziwu. Yeah, well, there, the, there the, aren't many of those around, are there? He tap, tap. Up. It's not happening. No, not quite. I'm sure he would have had. I mean, yeah. just the amount of bullets, the fact that there were four people, man. So this is Montu again reliving it. Nice. They're monster. They are really looking good here, OG. 11 to 5 after the pistol win for OG on the CT side. They're going to get to buy up now and get all the fun stuff. And well. Dignitas, what are we going to get? We are, after that bomb plant, we are going to actually be able to get a couple of rifles and uh, the nades and pistols to go with them. Really? MP9s. Guys used to eating uh, the, the kind of chicken you get here in London, actually, right? You know, just pump full of uh, steroids. Yeah. Full-breasted birds. Where can I get some of those? Get we, we've been eating them every day. It's great. <laughs> Head to the gym right away. How do you think we get this big, Anders? Exactly. No. Gotta go for it. Some good damage. I mean, though, right now, OG weirdly looked like they had, I mean, sort of maybe an equivalent buy in terms of the, the power behind it here. Valder getting forced to use that smoke almost instantly. And they don't have that many, so that's pretty good. They're going to be calling back here both Mantu and Alex, who have the other grenades. So... I don't know. Dignitas could definitely win this round. They're setting themselves up nicely. They all have head armor except for Harry. So most of these MP9s, if they get into sort of a straight fight, even even against a Tech-9, they're actually going to be in trouble. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And I'm curious to see if we're going to be able to get Issa in position here with that M4 on short. It is going to be his time to shine as they come around the corner in just a moment. He's backed off, though. He's trying to take it, exactly, trying to take this fight at long, really trying to get the range involved here. That Molly's going to force him in the open, and he gets annihilated. Harriet is down. NBK catches a blind up. Unreal. The best case scenario. OG, though, have taken so much damage. It's a three-on-three -three retake, and they are going to be very hard-pressed. Yeah, they might just want to go for it just because it's just MP9s, you know. Like, it's not that much to save. A lot of damage in return. Oh, last bullet for Valder. Unbelievable. And that leaves Forrest in a one versus three. Oh, this round is out of control. Forrest is going to just start to back on out. They're defusing deep in the site. I can't believe it. I mean, the NBK double, but then the fact that it was the last bullet there from Valder, that's so stupid. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. Yeah, all the time if you're doing this house right now. Ah, uh, yeah, OG, man. That is so big. 12 to 5 now. One round closer, mad money. Velda not even going to be bothering to drop an AWP for Mantu or anything. These guys are just going to keep farming. 
But because of the bomb plant again, Dignitas, they'll have just enough money for some rifles. Light on the nades, but still. Yeah, that's crazy. So close. Maybe lost three bullets, but still. Im Impressive. I'm wondering what it is uh, that's going to happen here. HE over the top, not quite going to connect with anything, and yet still a lot of damage taken by Valda. He's got to be careful. Mantu holding close, though, so we'll see in that deep smoke. So we're seeing how uh, OG are setting themselves up in Banana early, at least. Yeah, trying to get that MP9 close makes a lot of sense. wonder, I mean, Dignitas can guess that there must have been a, a, you know, a couple of those left. Another smoke put down, and then they're going to start to fall it back. Oh, it's just like fall back a little bit here. Another deep nade, and that one rings true. My god. That's a that's an absurd amount of damage. Yeah, that's so frustrating if you're taking a toss and feeling good. Thinking, hey, oh, another one. oh the other one. <laughs> Just nukes heap. So much damage. And the spot as well. Alexi B not calling for the rotation, dude. This guy, he's got brass stones. He also has a smoke and a Molotov, so let's just see. He's going to put it down. Oh, at 40 seconds as well, dude. Calling Mantu back in who has a flashbang. So they're probably going to smoke off Mantu, but he might just actually enjoy that. He might just say, that's fine. Put up the smoke and I'll flash my way through it. They're going to rotate back. But as they do that, Forrest is going to get caught. If Forrest would have had the opening, fair play. Now I don't even know what they're doing. 20 seconds, the bomb is running back and forth between mid and banana. Now they're going to try and go for it, but again, Alexi, that Molotov is going to come out, and now they're, they're just done. Pack it up and go back. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, I don't think they know what they're doing, Anders. I mean, now you're going to have the rifles, but you're not going to have any grenades for the next round on these guys. Yeah. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, it's so tough here. I mean, you're just getting bogged down. None of you guys are really hitting any shots. Seven kills on Forest, three on Heap. An insult to injury, Heap just got blown up last round. That that grenade that landed down at the T ramp did over 100 damage, like 110, 112 yeah. damage, something like that. And then the follow up one. I mean, I actually the follow up would be more devastating. I thought they would all run into it, but I guess he ate it. He actually, what a hero! Yeah, he saved his teammates. Yeah, build build him a statue right now. Give him a medal. That was gonna hit like well, all of them. And that that one as well, dude. The nade damage these guys are getting is bonkers. There's the spot, whole bunch of bullets too. Got a little greedy there. NBK decided to go for the multi. Still Forest down to 14 health already at the beginning of the round. And so life is not going to get any easier here for Dignitas. That HE goes into Boiler and is neatly dodged by Harry. And so now with three players alive here for OG, this is going to get fun. Velda, Molly goes in, spots it, gets the follow-up. Bomb is carefully dropped at his feet. And now Mantu going to come in with the flank, and they know where Heap is coming from. And, well, <laughs> dude, <laughs> you cannot catch a break, this this guy. The timing is ridiculous as well. If they peek him right then, Valde, he's just dead with a grenade in his hand. But he just, you know, just enough timing that he can get the rifle out again. I don't know. 14 to 5, dig not. Why does Velda look like he's the one losing here? I don't know. He's just so... <laughs> did he just sigh? He's just... Should be celebrating, or maybe not yet. Never want to do that before you've actually won the game. But still, they are uh, they are looking very good at the moment here. MBK up to 18 kills, and then there's a little bit of a drop up to the rest of the team. But the rest of them are playing in like a nice tight pack at the moment. And um, yeah, 14 to 5. Mantu starting off taking down Harry, and he's going to start to fall back, expecting him to be close. They're trying to hunt him down. Finally, going to be successful, but they will keep losing players here. Grenade, not going to do anything, but still. Uh, three to one trade that OG are going to be fine with. Not even managing guns. You know what? We'll go ahead and pull that AWP back so none of you can use that. Uh, Dignitas, however, are still going to wind up here on A site, Forest. Jiggling more than a bowl of jello. Uh, it is going to be just them sitting around 55 seconds left. NBK. I mean, anything they can do, right? And they're not finding it. Don't think at this point OG care about losing a couple of rifles. They have got so much money in the back. 15 to 5. Nothing like the first map at all. No, this is Annihilation total. 
Oh man. Yeah, Dignitas never really feel like it never really feels like they got their feet under them at all here. Uh they won the CT pistol and proceeded to just get pummeled from there on out. It's been it's been real rough. There is just no other way to put it. And and this after nuke, which is just really heartbreaking considering how close that was. All thirty rounds, OG coming back, and that's it's it's kinda what I worried would happen. We see it happen uh, far too often where uh, it's a close loss and the team that loses uh, really struggle to get their feet back under them to, to, to get that impact going in the second one, to get that confidence back. Yeah, and I think it's, I mean, it, it definitely also partly explained by the sort of the style in which they lost it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like it was, it really felt like that new game was just theirs and they came so well prepared and I don't know, a bit of a failed Molotov. But not a failed orb shot coming out from Holzerk. Oh, sorry, not from Holzerk, but Mantu. Or the Holzerk. Wish it was the other way around. Heat being left alone over on that side. The flashbang is so good. MBK, he did spot it. <laughs> it took a while. But it's going to be fine. They'll clean it up. So now they're slaughtering them right here. This is very, very one-sided Inferno. Been a while since I've seen Inferno play out. This went one-sided. Yeah. Freiburg on his own. The, the king of banana alone in his fortress here. Once upon a time, he's strolling through the dusty halls now, remembering the days of yore when Nip's name rang out. Damn, they're going to have to do a lot of work here for Dignitas to build the map pool and some good shots. That's pretty cool. 20 seconds, he's going to go straight for it. They could spam him right down. Let's see. Oh, Alexi's going to have some mercy. The king has not yet abdicated his throne, Anders. See, if he wins this round, it's going to be amazing. It's a one versus five, and he so will find him. 16 to five, ladies and gentlemen. OG managing to take down Dignitas in two maps. Definitely, surely history will, will say that it could have been slightly different just based on that first map, but it, it was not meant to be. And I think OG showing, you know, what should be their true form here on the second map. I'm actually going to go ahead and say, even, even though they won the first map, I still think that they look very shaky and... I think there's a lot to be decided still for OG on that one. So. Certainly. And I'm this, not all the way pleased yet. This is where you start getting into the realm of, um, well, I mean, Dignitas, it's still early days. You're still getting quite, a, it's still very clear that a couple of these players need a lot more experience. Yeah. And perhaps the focus that the veterans are having to put into uh, the newer players is detracting from their game. Freiburg struggled individually to, to, to get kills going, and Forrest as well on Inferno. Yeah. We really saw, we did not see him get involved in a meaningful way. When he needs to be one of the star anchors that's, you know, hard carrying this team, or at least, you know, just being up there with Halzerk, yeah. we didn't really see that at all from him. And I'm wondering if that's because they have these new guys like Hera and Heap, you know, who are struggling individually themselves. This is the biggest tournament they've, they've competed in. There's a lot going on mentally there, and maybe that's forcing, you know, Forrest and Freiburg to really put extra energy into trying to keep those guys in it rather than focusing on their own game. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's definitely the map made such a huge difference as well. So you have to hope that in time, Dignitas House will start to build more of a map pool so that, you know, more of the game, more of the maps will start to look like Nuke, which did look really good. I thought, I thought the preparation for Nuke was amazing. Like, it's, I'm really impressed by they how much so they put good. into it. Yeah, they have, like, and they have a lot of, like, of, of great ideas, and you can see, like, how well they follow through. So if, if all their maps were played like they played Nuke, then, like, that would be super encouraging. At that point, you think, like, all right, now it's uh, now it's worth rewatching. It's just experience, right? Yeah. But again, constant reminder of that. There's a lot to go, and that was the the first real you know test for this roster. So it'll yeah. be exciting to see how they develop further. It will be. But luckily, to break it all down and just to have some random conversations over at the blind spot, we do have the crew ready.